Hello! I always say hi weirdly. I think, you know what, if it's allowed, I'm just gonna not say hello, okay? I'm just gonna skip past it. Hi guys! Hi! Hi! I'm so excited to film this video, which I've just done, but I was excited to film the video, and I really like the look. It's kind of a... Well, it's a black smoky eye, okay? But it's got some purple and some oranges, which I hope you can see. I'll do a close-up at the end. But I really like this look. I think it's perfect for the evening. The evening! I think it's a perfect look for the evening if you're going on a date, or if you're going out with your mates. I'm just digging it. <gasps> I didn't even highlight. Well, I actually highlighted everywhere except for my cheek which I'm just remembering now, but whatever. I also put black eyeshadow on my chin by accident, so yeah. I hope you like the look. I really like it. It's kind of a bold eye, but at the same time, it's not actually really dramatic because it's quite soft, even though it's black. It's like, there are no harsh lines. I haven't done a winged liner. Um, uh -huh, uh -huh. I hope you like the look and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. You probably won't enjoy the bit when I put black all over my chin. Don't try that at home. Um, but I really hope you like the look. I'll be so offended if you don't. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Of, I think I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Obviously it took a while to actually sit here and do my makeup, but I'm going to edit it so it looks short and sweet. And subscribe to my channel please if you like it, so that I know you liked it. Um, I'm so excited. I think it's just because I like the look. If you want to know how to recreate the look, keep on watching and I will explain. All shall be revealed. The big reveal. So without further ado, here is how I created it. So I'm going to start off using... Um, oh, no, I need that. I'm going to start off with a transition shade and as always I'm going to use Universal from my 3502 palette, which is this one. I'm not going to go that. Which is this colour right here and it's a really nice super light colour for transition shade and I'm just going to use a MAC 217 brush which just looks like this to lightly apply that to my brow bone. I'm going to keep this um, eye look a bit low as well because um, it is going to be dark and dramatic so I do want it to be up really high as well. So just working this into the crease. Now that that colour's down, I'm just going to use a MAC 2 Two four, which is just a slightly bigger brush to just make sure that it's all just to make sure that it's all fully blended across the eyelid. I can start getting down and dirty with the purples, so I'm going to go in next with the color. I'm going to use Fawn actually, which is this color down here. Um, so I'm just going to basically warm it up a little bit with this brown tone. Basically putting it straight over the top. Straight over the top. Sounds a bit posh. Straight over the top. Just to really warm it up. Next I'm going to move into the purpley tones. The one I'm going to use... I'm not going to use the normal one. I'm going to use... I'm going to use a colour I haven't used before. I'm going to use In The Zone, which is this colour over here. So this looks a lot darker. Um, so I'm going to bring this one a bit lower. And then blend it upwards into the other colours. But the good news is there's no fall down, so that makes life easy. And 
And then I'm just going to go over the top um, of all of those with a blank 224 just to make sure that they're all blended together. And kind of pushing them upward a little bit. So, so you know. Next, I'm going to go in with the black shade. The one I'm going to use is just the black shade in the 3502 palette, keeping things easy, keeping to the same palette. It's called Wiz. And I'm going to pack it on with a flat brush. The one I'm going to use is the MAC 230. And I'm going to start off packing it really close to my lash line. So I know it looks odd seeing it like this, but I'm going to pack it on both lids and then I'm going to blend it into the browns and the crease. Now that that's done, I'm going to go over with a blank, um, the brush I was using earlier, the MAC 217, and just blend that all out together. And this is a bit of a process, this blending situation, so be patient and keep going. And to help it along its way, I'm just going to go back in with some fawn, just to use to really blend these two together. And then just going back in with that flat brush um, just to help blend where the two colours are joining. That's actually probably the best way to do it. Going back in with the colour chestnut because I really want to warm this up in the crease and also make it more purple in the crease. And then with a cleanish brush, going back in with my transition shade, just a bit of texture to make sure that it's all um, blended in at the top. And actually so that you can see a little bit of the orange gradient into the purple as well. And then back in again with my MAC with my MAC um, 224 just to make sure it's all blended together Real Techniques smudge brush just going in with going in with all the same colors Putting a tiny bit of black on the lower lash line, right in the outer part of the eye bit. Really not bringing it in at all. 
and then adding some of the purple colour as well. I'm going to put some mascara and some false lashes on and I'll be right back. Now that they're on, I'm just going to add a tiny bit of warmth to my nose because I feel like it's a little bit white in the middle there. So I'm just going to use eyeshadow in the shade Corduroy, which is this little one right here. And I'm just going to use this brush, but I'm going to be like just using the tip of it because I know it's a big brush. I'm going to use, it's the MAC 224. And this is a really dark shade, but I'm going to really lightly just apply a little bit to the sides of my nose. Just to contour my nose slightly and give a little bit of colour to it. For highlights, I'm going to use my fave at the moment, which is this MAC, Pig Pigment. MAC Pigment in the shade Vanilla. And I'm going to apply this using the little brush that you get in the Urban Decay palette, which is really just, I guess, like that little in there, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit in the corners of my eyes. Just a little bit. No, what? And then under my eyebrows, on the little arch there. On my cupid's brow. Oh, yeah. And also just down the bridge of my nose. Lips, I'm going to keep them simple just because the eyes are quite dramatic and I don't want to have some kind of like facial competition going on. So I'm just going to use a, well I'm going to use a lip Maximize that Collagen Active by Dior and it was basically just a little tester that I got so <gasps> Since when did I have black on my finger? Maybe it's time to stop breathing here because I'm making a massive mess. Okay, let's just try and ignore the fact that my chin is now black. You know, these things happen and... That's all I'm going to say about that. These things happen. What can you do? Okay, not too much. There you have the finished look. I hope you like it. Um, I'm I love this sort of look. It's a little bit dramatic, but you know, at the same time, it's kind of soft. I've not got any like a harsh liquid eyeliner going on. It's just natural shadows blending into each other. So I really like it. I think it's perfect for the evening. I definitely wouldn't wear this like personally during the day because I feel like it's quite dramatic. But if you want to wear it during the daytime, wear it during the daytime, okay? You do you, boo. I really like this look. I think it's a really fun evening look. It's perfect for a date night or going out with the girls. Um, I really hope you like the look and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. And until next time, honey. And I will, if you're a loyal, I will see you in my next video, which I can't wait for.